Well, here's one for Keith. You like your two two litre rocket three? Look at this. This is a uh, what? How many litres is this? 5.7. 5.7. That's double, double, double a rocket three. It's got a V8 engine. What sort of engines in this? Chevy. Chevy. Chevy small block crate engine. Crate engine. So just a base engine. That's it. Okay, then what sort of transmission are you running off the back of this thing? Uh, they have a two-speed semi-automatic with reverse. Uh, runs a Chevy bell housing and torque converter into their right angle drive gearbox with a belt drive to the back wheel. Right, okay, so pretty basic then. It is. Pretty basic, is. sort of like a, just your basic Holden. That's right. By the way, this is a Boss Hoss V8 350. Um, who, are you the importer for these? I am, yes. Right, this is Colin, he's the importer. Uh, where do, you, where do you get these from? The Boss Hoss motorcycle uh, originates from Dyersburg, Tennessee. The company's been producing bikes now for 20 years, so they, they, start, they formed the company back in 1990. Um, uh, the founder of the company's name is Monty Warren. Now, he, at the time, couldn't find a bike that would give him the power and exhilaration that he wanted from a motorcycle. Well, you're going to get it from this. Well, you're going to get it from this, that's <laughs> right. Now, he said about um, building a, uh, a chassis and um, out of combination of uh, an American cruiser and automotive parts at the time, uh, pulled the 350 out of his uh, stock car, threw it into the bike, uh, took it down to Daytona Bike Week right. and was inundated with requests, where could people buy this bike? Yeah, right, so we okay. Went back home, started building the bikes and started selling. That's how the company got started. Started, started um, the ball rolling. And uh, right. in the early days they were, they were, fairly, um, they were fairly crude. They had a single speed uh, transmission uh, with a manual foot clutch, but as the years progress, they fine-tune the bike to what we have here today. Yeah, okay, so this is the base model? This is the base model, ZZ4. ZZ4, we right. We can option this up to a 6.2 litre, all alloy um, Jesus. engine from GM. Okay. There's also uh, another model, an SS Super Sport. Now that is three inches shorter and three inches lower seat height. Right, so if you're okay. a bit short in the legs or the ladies want one, we can provide them with a Boss Hoss also. So how many packets of Weet-Bix do you need before you <laughs> ride this thing every morning? <laughs> no, look, all the weight is down low, so um, the only time you'll feel the weight is when you lift the bike up off the stand. Yep. The, uh, being that it's semi-automatic, you're parked on a hill at a set of lights, you just hold the brake on in first gear when you're ready to move off to sit the gas and away the bike goes. You don't change into uh, second gear, uh, below 80 kilometres an hour. The bike, I'm told, will, um, in first gear, go to about 190 kilometres an hour. So you use first gear to pull it up to cruising speed and then you slip it into overdrive. Rightio. Uh, what sort of suspension? You're just running the Harley front end by the looks no, of no, it? No, no, this is their own front end. This is, runs upside down uh, uh, front forks. Yep. It's their own uh, rear shockies. Um, okay. Uh, runs... Uh, uh, 230 Avon tyres on the rear, we can also upgrade that to a 300. Yeah, right. Do you, do you get to use the sidewalls on the tyres or is it just <laughs> the centre? No, no, it's, uh, the bike handles uh, unbelievably. It's uh, so easy to turn, even with someone on the back with me, a big fella, uh, I can navigate a roundabout. Um, there's no problem at all. Okay, and, and you do all the servicing and stuff at your, your place? Yeah. Awesome set of gauges here. Um, What's, what's with them all? Is it, they're all just a basic oil temperature and revs yeah, and... Yeah. We've got a, a mixture of uh, analogue and digital gauges. We have um, uh, temperature, oil pressure, uh, tachometer, we have uh, amp meter. Uh, here we've got trip meter, is the digital display. Your uh, speedometer goes to 230 kilometres an hour, but I've seen guys on YouTube just screw that needle straight off the clock. Joking, yeah. so yeah. it'll go over 230? It'll go over 230. You, you'd, hope, you'd hope so, like the it's top, a big engine for a little bike. Top speed is around about the 300 kilometres an hour. Okay, is the weight is it very heavy? How much does it weigh? It weighs 500 kilos dry, about 1,100 pounds. 500 yeah. dry, okay. Dry. And then length? Uh, just shy of three metres. So it will fit in the garage or not? Oh, just about. Yeah, yeah. just about. Yeah. Okay, yeah. no worries, no worries, brilliant. And, and upgrades, what sort of upgrades do they do for this? Yes, well, we can, get, we can fit them at the factory, uh, the panniers, um, uh, top box, uh, we've got screens, as I mentioned earlier, we've got the 300 wide back tyre. Yep. Um, with the 350, we can option that up with a race cam roller rockers. That brings your standard 350 up to 385 horsepower. Um, 
uh, what else can we have? Um, and there's various other things. Now, when these bikes come into the country, they're unpainted. So we'll paint this bike any colour you want. Yeah, right, okay. So, so you give us a paint code and we'll paint this bike any colour you want. Yeah, and what, you assemble them here? The bikes are pretty, pretty much, much assembled, but we have to strip them down, send them off to the paint shop, be painted. We have to comply them, do the pre-delivery, and then they should get shipped to me. Okay, so uh, rough, rough ball price? I don't know everyone out there uh, thinking, how much is this? Yeah. yeah, a lot of it depends on the exchange rate of the time a client pl places an order. Yep. But um, if you factor in roughly 80, a starting price of around 80, 83,000 uh, plus on roads and various bits and pieces. Yeah, right. And as I said, it depends on the exchange rate at the time. Jeez. And turnaround time from the time you place your order is about 14 weeks. About 14 weeks. I notice a red flashing light as I'm standing here. Is that an immobiliser or a car? That's an immobiliser. The insurance okay. companies um, request that you uh, install an immobiliser. Yeah, okay. So, oh yeah. But so, we take care of all that. Yeah, right. Um, gear changing? Yes. Just uh, basic on the lever or is it? No, you've got uh, a gear lever, a heel and toe shifter down here, just like a posty bike, if yep. you like. Um, uh, one click down uh, is first gear, second gear is another click. Come back up through neutral, up, and it has also has reverse. Now, okay, so can you engage uh, in reverse as you're going forward? Uh, no, nice. no. The, the vehicle is stationary. We click it into reverse, and on the uh, switch block up here on the uh, left-hand handlebar, we have a button. So the engine's idling, we're in reverse gear, yep. but nothing happens until we select this button, depress this button, and that activates the solenoid in the transmission. Okay, all right. Uh, and then the bike will just idle back, so you just rest your finger on the brake to yep. control the movement, and you can even accelerate up if you're going up a bit of an incline to give you a bit more power to push up a hill. Now, horsepower on this, yep. the 350 has uh, 260 kilowatts and 550 newton metres of torque. The 6.2 is 330 kilowatts and 600 newton metres of torque. Injected? Yes. The uh, 350 runs Holly throttle body injection and the 6.2 runs standard um, multi-port injection. So if you're looking to buy one of these Boss Hosses, uh, come down to Bellevue, to Midland Road and Trail and he'll hook you up. Cheers, Cole. Thank you very much.